I haven't posted a video in about three weeks or a little more than three weeks because I've been in Mexico uh, since the 12th of last month all the way to the 29th. And uh, I was checking on a building project I have going on over there. We're building a little hotel-like thing. I'll show a drone shot in this video of it so you can see what that's about. But I was in between jobs here, kind of waiting on some stock to build a fixture for some castings that I'm going to start on here. And I might, I might do a little bit of video on that. that. That might be interesting. But I was thinking, I wanted to do a series of videos on how you can utilize your spindle probe in your machine if you have such a thing and and how you can use use it for in process type of setting of tools um, adjusting the size of, the, of how big the tools are me uh, milling the part and and uh things like that i think people don't utilize i mean if you just use the pro for setup it's good but if you don't use it for anything more than that you're kind of um limiting yourself and wasting the the, the ability that your probe has in your machine. So this is the this little video is the utmost simplest thing you could do with it. But it can be it can be uh, more complex, or even using this cycle can be more complex. Right now, what what this is going to be about is just a setting two tools so that they match each other. It's basically what it is. See so when you when you're using a face mill for instance on, on face milling parts and you go to index the inserts on the finishing face mill if, if you are using it for that the end the inserts are not made that precisely to where you can just index them or they don't fit in the pockets the same I, I, I don't know exactly why it doesn't do it but they they tend to vary a little bit like uh, you know it can vary as much as a, a few thousandths of an inch and, and uh, you either got a set that tool very precisely again with a tool setter or, or a tool probe or whatever um, and that's a way to do it but what I've done in the past is is um, actually face the part and I and I use that as the reference and then I probe the, the um, tools to the next you know the next tools to match that and if you make your program in such a way that that you can do this you take a leave an area where you can cut with the tool and then probe it you know and you cut with it a little bit high probe it and you, and you measure the difference and then you automatically set the offset you can do this all automatically in the program so that you don't have to be chasing this the whole time you're running parts if you're running a, an order of parts or a less experienced person can run the job and you don't have to worry oh you know is he going to have mismatches in the tools or if you're holding very close tolerances on steps or something like that so in this program we're going to show i mean this video i should say we're going to end program we're going to show a very simple thing and uh sort of demonstrate how you can recall information into your program and set variables on the machine there's what they call common variables which you can use to set and do calculations and then there's variables in the machine itself that have to do with the tools and the fixture offsets the machine position virtually almost everything in the machine you can you can call into your program and use it as a um, form of a calculation or something like that the, the Renishaw probe actually does it functions this way and it, and it calls up the machine positions when it probes things and then it can do calculations and set offsets or or whatever you're using with it and the tool probe as well if you have a tool probe this machine only has a spindle probe so that's what I'll be demonstrating here the the Renishaw cycle that we're going to be using in this program if, if I can get this Renishaw manual here is going to be the single surface measuring cycle that's the only one we're going to be using and pay attention in the video for this uh, variable number 138 I show a little uh, split screen thing in the video and it, and it shows you can see this and it changes and this is what we're using to do the calculation with and we're, we're using the size we could also use the Z position 
in this case because we are probing it in the z-axis but I'm actually just using this size here in relation to our um, z0 on our fixture offset really so that's what this is going to be about here and um, like I said if, if this is seems to be of interest to enough uh, um, people that watch my videos I, I want to get into more complex setups with this and show what can be done with it because you can control the size if you're milling you know bores or something you can control the size by adjusting the offset of the diameter or radius in this case on this machine it's radius uh, if you're using cutter compensation and, and uh, rerun the tool and keep measuring it until it gets it out to size it'll keep repeating the tool until it gets it out to size and then go on so you don't have to worry about you know uh, stopping and measuring the part and restarting the program and all that it, the probe can do that for you so like I said let me know in the comments if this is of interest and uh, you know watch the video let's see what you think